This FCA Game of the Week is brought to you by KiwaniJobs.com, connecting local employers with local job seekers, and by Center City, open 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays. Check out our website and find us on Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. The final four are on the dance floor as the Anawan Weathersfield Titans put up a matching 11-1 record against DMAC. Now these two teams can put up big numbers. The theme on a very cold and windy day, bend, don't break. Both teams hunker down for a blustery day of semifinal football. The visitors on the move, Preston Lester with a big 30-yard gainer as he gets it down to the Anawan Weathersfield 12-yard line. That drive carries over into the second quarter. Will DMAC punch it in? No, the ball's on the turf. a and Zach Van Opdorp is there to recover at the 11. DMAC again on offense. They go to their big bruiser. His name is Jared Reese. That's a 16-yard gain for him. And he sets up the first score of the game from less than a yard out. He is in. No point after, though. So the Titans are only down 6 to nothing. Titans on defense again. Tackling by committee. Preston, Evans, Kirk, Jenkin, and Sal Sage getting the job done. And Sage is not done yet as DMAC soon after fumbles. And there's Sage to recover to deny a potential scoring drive for DMAC. Now, can Anawan Weathersfield move the ball down the field and score before halftime? Third and long, Bryce Bumphrey with a sweet pass play to Ben Burrish to midfield. Still going through the air, Bumphrey to Bryce Elias. A short game, but the ball is on the 28-yard line. Can they punch it in? Bumphrey to Burrish again, first down to the 21 with two minutes to go. Moments later, tremendous play as Bumphrey gets it to Jackson Ince in the flat he can run he can run fast no one catches him he's in for the touchdown and then alex bryan follows up with the point after right down broadway and just like that the titans head to halftime up seven to six then in the third quarter play dmac playing with a short field and they will score preston lester with the touchdown run from 17 yards out and dmac goes for two and they get it as Derek Baker gets into the zone and that puts his team on top 14 to seven. DMAC after an A&W three and out, get busy once again and it's Lester punching it in on that short field. No point after, it's 20 to seven, but plenty of time left. Then it's Lester once again picking up 15 as the Chiefs continue to pick up good yardage. He had 113 yards rushing on the day and again, DMAC goes up the middle as Lester scores again. That makes it 26 to seven. Never say die though for a and Bumphrey throws to Burrish. He gets it to the 40 yard line. a and knocking on the door of the end zone, but the ball is on the turf as DMAC recovers. And that was a, a terrible blow for their chances. In the fourth quarter, DMAC puts together an amazing drive. Reese again working the clock and working out yardage with a 14 yard pickup. And then with four, fourth down, it is Jacob Carnicle of DMAC completing a 21 play, 10 and a half minute drive. And that ices things away as it is DMAC ending. Anawan Weathersfield's amazing season. The final 34-7. The Titans bow out at 11-2 to file away a lifetime of memories. Yeah, it's been a great season for us. You know, everyone doubted us coming in. We only had 26 guys. We couldn't even put a fresh soft program together, but we came out and we battled every day and we put the work to get where we're at right now. And we're just really happy how far we got. Well, honestly, you guys take the lead going into the half, too. You had to be feeling pretty good about yourselves momentum-wise, too. Yeah, momentum was high in the halftime. You know, we knew if we executed it in the second half, we'd be in a good spot, you know. Turnovers were big the first half, and we couldn't create any in the second half, and it just happens. Obviously, they had two short fields, too, in that third quarter. I look at a couple of scores uh, there when uh, you know, only having to go 30 yards or so. Yeah, uh, the win affected our special teams a lot today, and that's a huge part of our game. Specials is Coach Jay's. you got to be perfect in all of them. So uh, I think that affected us a lot, and our defense has tried to hold them to what we could. 
Well, obviously, uh, you are in a pretty uh, special ground, I guess, too, that uh, not too many teams get to be standing here. I mean, where does this fit in with your young life, just the experience of it all? Uh, this is something I'll remember forever, you know, coming back to back in my finals, starting both ways, you know. I mean, uh, every kid I will remember for the rest of my life on our team. It was a good year. No one expected us to be here. Uh, I'm just proud of the way we fought today. We never gave up. Honestly, too, you got the lead right before halftime. You had that momentum. What were you thinking going to the halftime as far as your chances, too? Uh, just stick it out. 24 more minutes and we could get the win, but, you know, they're a good team. Yeah, tell me, I mean, they had a couple short fields, too, in that third quarter, too, uh, and really the wind did affect that. You know, it, no one was, no was going to have a good kicking game or anything like that today. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard when they come out with a short field. It's hard to play defense for that much as, or as long as we did today and on that short of a field. Well, and I think one of the beauties was you guys, you were still physical, you were still believing, and, uh, you know, you were still grinding away all the way to the end. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm proud of my boys. We fought to the end, and we were never giving up. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you file away, you know, some things uh, from this season that will uh, definitely affect the rest of your life. You think? Uh, just the bond that I've created with some of these guys out here. I think of these guys all as my brothers and I love them all. We had a great season. Nobody thought we'd ever get this far. That is one good football team. They're going to, if they don't win, I don't know what it, who is. They are a really good football team. I'm proud of my guys. You guys were making plays uh, late in that second quarter. You get the lead, you know, what were you thinking going to the locker room? They had to be wondering, wow, we just, all of a sudden we're behind, you know? Yeah, we had a, we had a little bit of momentum builder, but they definitely had us today. They definitely had us. I'm proud, of, I'm just proud of my guys. Obviously that third quarter was a difference maker and they had a couple of short fields too. They were able to punch it in and the, the, I think the wind had a lot to do with that too, obviously. Yeah, it was, they just had a great day. I, they had a great day as a good football team. How great was it for you guys to keep punching and counter punching and staying physical, things like that, even when you fell, fell down by a couple scores? We knew we couldn't give up. We had to keep fighting. We knew we could not give up and we had to keep going. They just had us in the end. And that's the gear you guys have had all year. I mean, is that one of the charms of this team playing for this team that uh, to a man, you know, yeah. uh, you, you, you guys went for it? Yeah, with 26 guys, you got to play for the kid next to you. You got to play. We're all brothers here out in the field. You have to keep fighting and keep going mm -hmm. no matter what the circumstances. Tell me how meaningful this is uh, in your young life, you know, just the experience you've had. It's very meaningful. I'm so proud. After my four years of this, this is amazing. Back-to-back -back semis, conference champs this year. It's great. It's great. You know, weather played a, a role today, but both teams played in it, so we're not, you know, we're definitely not using that as an excuse. Um, but but that was a big factor there in, in the third quarter. We thought that we uh, we played okay in the first half, and we, we thought we could move the ball just a little bit in the third quarter against the wind, and then have the wind at our back in the fourth quarter. Um, we, we moved it on one drive that ended in a fumble um, deep inside their territory, and then uh, we couldn't get the ball back from them in the second half. Obviously, getting the lead right before halftime, I mean, you had to feel, feel good running into the locker room. Sure, we're uh, up one at home in a semifinal game. It, it felt great, and uh, we didn't think we played great. Of course, you know, a big part of that had to do with our opponent and, and uh, you know, the quality that, of opponent that they were. But, uh, you know, we, we felt pretty good uh, given the situation. Thought we could make a couple plays there uh, in the second half, and uh, just, just wasn't our day. Mm -hmm. They had a couple of physical backs, I guess, coming coming out of the backfield too. They were able to make a few plays too, and it's just like, I mean, it's, I guess it's what you probably expect in a, in a semifinal game, a lot of physical play. Yeah, absolutely. They're an excellent football team. They're very well coached. Um, you know, they turned it over, I think, a couple times there in the first half, and uh, and we couldn't quite capitalize um, on those things. So, um, it, you know, at, at this point, uh, when you get beat like that, uh, it, to a, a really good football team, you just have to tip your cap to them. Um, you know, it doesn't take anything away from what our kids did this year. Um, they, they need to be incredibly proud of, of the effort that they put in all year long. Uh, just wasn't our day today. You've had some amazing teams here, I guess, too. I mean, uh, where does this fit in? And uh, is this going to be uh, one of the, the charms of coaching, you know, when you, you, these guys grind out everything they could? You know? uh, such a special group that we had this year. Um, it started, of course, with our senior class. Uh, small in number, there's seven of them, but, uh, but they're pretty special. Uh, many of those kids um, were, were, all of those kids were pretty significant players on our semifinal team last year. And uh, we told them after the game, we said, hey, guys, it's, it's tough to get to this round. It's even tougher to win here, and it's even tougher to win the next one. Um, but to get here in back-to-back -back years for those those uh, seniors to finish off their, their junior and senior football careers. Uh, it, it's going to hurt now for a while um, because it, it means so much to those kids. But they'll look back on it at some point, I hope, and uh, they'll, they'll be pretty darn proud of what, of what they did this year.
a lot of folks on the outside were, were stunned with what able to do at, at any level was it stunning to you you know just uh, i mean you're the guy that's uh, in in the pattern of every day and uh, yeah, you, you know you had your boots on the ground with them you know seeing these kids and and the work ethic and the focus uh that they brought every single day um it kind of got to the point where nothing really surprised us with these kids um they, they're such a, a fun group to be around uh they're tough they're hard nosed they're, they're smart kids and smart football players and that goes a long way too and and of course they're pretty pretty athletic as well so um you know we we of course couldn't promise the kids anything and, and they knew that obviously in terms of wins and losses but uh you know, I think by just about any any measurement, they, they had a heck of a year. Mm -hmm. And last thing, you know, the community totally embraced you guys, and it was a, I think it was a mutual admiration society. It's great to play for uh, for a couple towns that really embrace their high school athletics. I'm sure. Yeah, both communities are extremely supportive of their athletic programs, and especially our co-op football program. Um, a huge crowd here today, as we expected. Um, you know, they, they certainly back us, in, and we appreciate the support that we get from everybody. So, um, thanks to everybody that came out uh, all year long to support us. We appreciate it, and uh, hope we made you guys proud. Hey, both Anawan and Weathersfield have tremendous fellowship of Christian athletes huddles at their school. What about you? Are you the one who's going to start FCA at your college, high school, or middle school? Find out how you can contact me or check out our website at IllawaFCA.org. With this FCA Game of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson. And good sportsmanship in the spirit in which the game is intended to be played. Both teams in the school will stay in advance of your cooperation. Tonight, first for visitors from Deer Creek Mac.